In this video, I want to talk about the way that you start and stop the actual recording process. There's usually a little bit of lead time and a little bit of lag time from the head and the tail or the beginning and the end of the recording that you have. You trim it down in the software. Try not to slam into interviews or people talking or stopping the recording just as people finish and start. That process, you can tweak that and you can get that right in the software. So when you hit record, just make sure that it is recording. I've actually had a couple of takes here where we've gone through this process a few different times where I realized that I forgot to hit record on this other camera. So I have to do it again. So take the time, hit record, just check that in the user interface you actually see the rec button is working, REC or a red dot, something to that effect, clearly indicating it started recording. Sometimes there's a time code ticking over, like a number, it's growing. That also indicates that you're going. Then casually ask the person when they're ready to begin, to either, when you're ready, they'll begin in their own time, or say something like action, which we're all probably familiar with. Then when you finish, let them have a bit of a moment where it kind of holds for a beat, holds for a couple of moments, and then you can turn off the camera. Otherwise, you slam it in too hard, too fast at the beginning, and you slam it out a little too quick at the end, there might be a little bit of cutoff. So you might miss the first word, you might miss the last word. And those two words at each end might be critical to having a clean communication of what that person's saying. And they might not be able to come back and do it again. So always have a lead time recording and a little bit of lag time at the end of it as well and trim it in the software.